Righto guys, welcome back to another episode of In The Shed With Cam. We're here today um, because we do have a kettle TD42, which does get hot. I have seen it get up to temperatures around 115 degrees on the highway, towing our little punt. So it's really not um, going that far or doing much. So what we've gone is we've gone and purchased ourselves a UFI um, fan kit with clutch. Um, so you can see the clutch here on the back works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this over today, um, put it in and see how it works compared to the old one. Obviously driving around and getting 115 degrees on the highway, not really working under any load. It's only got a tiny little, you know, tiny little pun on the back. Um, no load in the actual car, in the back of the car itself. So change it out and we'll see the difference, um, see how much of a difference it actually makes. So stick with us. Um, it is a bit of a bit of a pain job um, due to having to pull your fan shroud and everything else out. There is um, three little bolts, so one bolt here, one bolt here, and one bolt here in the middle. Um, and then you go underneath, and there is another piece which I've already pulled out. It's just held together by a couple little clips, so it just clips on the bottom of your fan shroud. If you just imagine that in underneath. Um, so that. And then halfway through getting this third bolt out here. We're gonna do as you see on the back here it's got four bolts um, should be pins and everything holding that together off your off the back of the actual um, the water pump holding that um, so all we'll do is just take those off put the new one on and put it all back together see how we go yeah it's probably a bit of a pain to do this with the fan actually attached but we should be all right, luckily enough, I've got long enough digits I can grab the nut and undo it after I've cracked it. Stuff to get better airflow. So, old fan. Put side by side here. Battery fan versus um, quick as new fan. Oh, not quick as, sorry, UFI. So, it's not much, much, it's much the same. Um, you can see it's a bigger core in the middle there. Everything uh, seems, a lot, seems a bit bigger diameter wise. But um, yeah, let's see how, see how much of a difference it makes to the actual overall performance of the vehicle. Get it on. The car is almost all back together.
I'll do. So I'll fix that up. So it's not actually touching on the fan itself. So I managed to break off this little piece and what it did is when I broke it off that it actually created a little tab there that was just sitting on the fan but before when we first started up this was what was making the noise so I broke it off um, probably not a good idea, don't recommend it um, but yeah so I broke it off and then it left the little, little tab that was just sitting on the fan so third time's a charm, let's see how we go this time with no no rubbing and rattling. hear the fan hum, it sounds a lot better than the old one, it sounds like it's actually moving a lot more air, so you can even feel it there, like sucking a lot more air, you can feel it. Yeah, even up to about 115 that we had the other day. 